few beautiful butterflies right here right, because I have been wanting to show you guys them. So right here, I have a beautiful painted lady that I caught. And uh, um, uh, then I have this girl. She is a awesome yellow swallowtail. I mean, named her Bo because she has colors of the rainbow on her. <laughs> and then, um, and then I have my, um, and then I have my life cycles that I did. And I just wanted to ask you guys, how many uh, stages do you guys think are in a um, butterfly man morphosis? Um. Um. So how many do you, how many life cycles? How many? Yeah, um, stages you think are in a butterfly's life cycle. Let's see, um, do you guys uh, think you guys know how many yeah butterfly stages are in a butterfly life cycle? Um, let me see. Uh, four. Yes. Um, Evan girls, it is four. As you can see, in my complete metamorphosis. I am one of butterfly, and. I did my com a, a complete metamorphosis. A complete metamorphosis has four different stages. An egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Which is really awesome. A ladybug also has that. And you won't believe what a ladybug larva looks like. It is a really crazy transformation. And then I have a complete metamorphosis right here. Four stages butterfly life cycle. Yeah. Um, and uh, I did a dragonfly because uh, it is one of uh, them that has uh, a complete metamorphosis, which is a nymph adult. And I know most of you guys have uh, a uh, have um, premises. They also are a incomplete metamorphosis because do you ever see them pupate? Because they never do, which means they're incomplete which is how we know if it's complete or incomplete metamorphosis. So, what I do think that I should show you guys these butterfly pictures. I mean, this one I think has the most of all of them, the most of colors. So on the, on the back, it tells me where, um, Wait, the name and uh, the family and species. I cannot find where it's uh, on the back where it was though. Um, so Red Austria. So this is called Red Austria. This is pretty cool. Um, so I cannot wait to tell you guys more about them. I mean, oh, oh yes, finally. She hasn't been drinking out of there. Oh man, she must have been only tasting it. Cool girl. I gave her the orange slice because they can use their proboscis to uh, suck the juice out of the fruit. And they haven't been doing that. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, and actually, I can still remember the first time I uh, caught my, uh, f the first time I caught the first but my first butterfly. It was, uh, well, the first butterfly that was not my yard. Um, me and my family were boat team, and uh, we were in. We went to this cove, and we had a paddle board. And I went the paddle board to the to the side of the cove, and a ton of butterflies were there. I accidentally mistakenly thought that if I got my net wet, the butterflies would stick to the net. Did not look well. <laughs> Also, the first time I saw a butterfly in my yard, my dog, Raven, jumped up and ate it and then spit out the wing. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Sometimes having dogs can be helpful and not helpful, you know? Also, um, it, I think it's time that we should do the life cycle. Cool, do you want to do the life cycle with me? Sure. Um, so if you guys did not already print the life cycle, go to my, um, Go to my um, website, www.atdorgirl.com, I mean .net, and you can get these guys to print, okay? So, 
we are going, so we have the eggs, caterpillar, pupa, butterfly, you know, and we are going to glue them to the correct places. Okay? Oh, um, did you have, sure, uh, which one? The painted lady or the, um, or the swallowtail? Um, great, um, Byron Boards 27. Um, which butterfly do you mean? Because I didn't hatch either. I mean, but I do have caterpillars that I am going to hatch right here. They either can get as long as my finger and as, fast, and as wide as my finger too, you know? So you can buy them on the internet and uh, get to, to get them and raise them. Then they cocoon on the top and you can take the top off. They actually put some paper towel on the top to, for them to cocoon on for easy access. And I don't want to take it out, take uh, the cap off now, because it might uh, to hurt their life, their life cycle. So here are my scissors, here are yours, Scrubber. Now, let's cut them out. <laughs> Gotta make sure they don't fly away. Now you guys can do this with us. Now, let's cut these out. Here we go. Oh, okay. Who, where do you guys think egg goes? Oh, awesome display table out, doggo. Thanks. <laughs> um... So who, so where do you guys think egg goes? The eggs go. Where do you guys think it, they go? Where do you guys think they go, okay? Um, so where do you guys think these egg one goes, okay? Because I do want to see if you guys know about it. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Um... Seems like now you guys are answering. <laughs> um, well, since now you guys seem to be answering, I'll show you. Um, it actually is uh, um, a, 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 a. It actually goes one because it's a fourth so one in the life cycle, you know? There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, who, now, um, oh, um, um, so, um, uh, um, so, what do you guys think goes next? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Um, so, what does anybody else know? Who would... Uh, does anybody else know where what the net where caterpillar goes? Does anybody else know? Um, the caterpillar goes second. There's these awesome tiny flying beetles around here. I love them, but sometimes they can't get in the way. You know. Let me put this right here. There we go. Come in. Hey, you have your own. No, no, no. This, no, this one's broken. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Totally broken. Try uh, Okay. So, let's see. Um, two. Oh, <laughs> I guess I did it a little bit too early. And then, oh, fuck. Uh, so hard to make sure that these guys do not uh, go off. Come in, thank you. Now. Where do you guys think the butterfly goes? Where do you guys think the butterfly goes? Now, just so you guys know, I'm not to do them in order, okay? Three? Uh, so, actually, three is wrong. Butterfly goes in four. And... Um, as you guys know, that leaves pupa to be three. Here. 
Okay. Here you go, girl. Here, let me gather all of this garbage. I don't want it going anywhere. Here, I'll gather all the garbage, bro. Want to go to get glued up? <laughs> and get glued? Because I'm first if it does, I'll budget. Um, so, um, as you can see, this is the proper life cycle of the butterflies. Butterfly is last. Yeah. <laughs> but it is easy to get confused. So, so when I've been going in order this whole time, the butterfly is green when I suddenly went out of order. So I get to your confusion. That's really fun. I know, it is super fun. Here, let me grab these. Okay. Here. Here you go. You want to take them to the garbage? Mm, sure. Wait, don't forget Don't forget these two. Oh, have that. We don't want to come to... Okay. So we have these two. Here. The wind is super hot here. So that way... So I really do have to... Gwen, can you join me now? Oh. <laughs> well, um, some of these questions about butterflies... I do need some help with. So, do you know how far butterflies can migrate? Well, um, that, that, it, well, um, they, it varies on what they are. I mean, my favorite is the monarch butterfly. Here, let me find the monarch butterfly. Here, um, where is it? Where is it? So I know. So these are moths. Which means, oh. right here, monarch butterfly. So, um, it actually goes through, oh wait, uh, how do I do that? Oh, uh, I know how you join. She joined. Um, oh, hey. Um, hey. So, I would like some help with these um, because number three and number four kind of confuse me. You know? Um, so, got, so, uh, so um, le the lepidopterist just joined to help me yet on this book class. She is going to co-teach with me. Um, so, so the question, so the, so how far do butterflies migrate? So a monarch butterfly is definitely the one that migrates the farthest. It actually says right here, um, well, that's more butterflies are famous for the animal migration that spans seven generations. It takes three generations for them to go. So the first generation goes all the way from Canada, all the way down to uh, New Mexico, where, where, where they fly, no, not New Mexico, Mexico, and they fly up to 3,000 miles or 300 miles. So, from Canada to Mexico, and they go to uh, with a awesome my uh, place where they uh, cover the trees and uh, they survive the winter. But it takes them. It's that only takes one generation. Then in the spring, then that it, oh, look when the flying beetles landed. <laughs> Come on. Here you are. There you go. <laughs> There's no flying beetles or everywhere. It is so cute. Um, so they actually, yeah, that is the longest butterfly journey that ever has been. You know? Okay, so num so one of the other questions is, what is my favorite butterfly? So I can't, I can't really decide between two, but no, three butterflies. So of course, there's a monarch butterfly because I love it. And it, the mystery of the poison in its wings. It eats milkweed. It eats milkweed when it's caterpillar and that when it cocoons, then it turns into then that turns into the poison in its wings. But then for animal eats it to get sick. So but they even though that is that way, they are still endangered. 
which is really awesome. But, but I do wish they weren't endangered. Also, well, I also have a few others, but what are yours? What are your favorites? The Blotches? Oh, my favorite butterflies? Yeah. Um, oh man, I think the monarch is one of my favorites too. What? Um, you can't decide because... between butterflies for favorites? I can't decide. There's so many. There's so many good butterflies. I know. Um, I mean, the three that I decide between yeah. is the Madagascar sunset moth, the monarch butterfly. Here, it has the Madagascar sunset moth in here. Here, let me get to it. Madagascar sunset moth. That, that is a really pretty moth. I know. Here. Where is it? 42. Number 42. Oh. Okay. Looks like it doesn't actually have its own page. So this is a, uh, so this butterfly right here is the moth butterfly, is the mono, is uh, the um, Madagascar sunset moth. It is a really awesome moth. But then my next one that I love is it in this book? It, but it is the Luna Moth. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so the two questions that um, confuse me are the next ones. Um, so, can a palamedus swallowtail and a spice bush swallowtail, swallowtail be paired and produce viable offerings? So I didn't even know those two types of butterflies exist. Because I'm going to beetles and pregnancies, you know? Um, a palamedes swallowtail and a spice mush swallowtail. I don't think they would be able to have offspring. Um, I've never done my rat tests, you never know, but, um, what's the genus of the palamedes, the pal um, Palamedes swallowtail and spice with swallowtail. I've never even heard of them, you know? I don't think they'd be able to produce viable offspring. Okay. Um, and then there is what is the best way to attract a bush footed butterflies? The bush footed butterflies to a yard. Ooh. Um, people usually use fruit, like they mix fruit and sometimes even like alcohol and stuff, like beer, and you mix it all in one thing and like fermenting fruit and usually that it will attract butterflies. Um, in Costa Rica yeah. it works amazingly. Yeah, I bet it would. Oh, inked ewok, tune in so my two-year-old daughter can watch she loves bugs well i've loved bugs ever since i was born so i bet so it may as make a lot of sense that kids younger than me also love bugs i mean i have loved bugs ever since i was a little kid <laughs> you know and i cannot wait for us to um do what what butterflies uh, and uh, all of the others and i think it's time that we should let these go these butterflies no, wait. uh do you but uh, um do you guys have any more questions um here, let me see if i missed any um apple cider vinegar oh um eat a walk as if i'm pretty sure she wrote apple cider vinegar with two question marks, so I think she maybe meant, does that work too? Fermenting bananas and apple cider vinegar both work really good. <laughs> now, stage, is straight, stage three the cocoon? Uh, yes. Um, let's see what other questions I missed. I'm really good for more butterflies. Okay, let's see. I love bugs. So much I love that she does too. Yeah, before I saw it Instagram, I thought that I was the only one who loved them as much as I did. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I also think it's awesome that I can that I, that I can educate so many people with all this stuff. 
um, um, <laughs> um, so, what, do you guys have any questions? Um, cool swallowtail, wow, beautiful girl, and what kind of yard plants will attract butterflies? Do butterflies make sounds? I raised some swallowtail calves, but they develop more worms inside them. Um, chili booger? That is exactly what happened to me, actually. I was growing some cropia moss, and right when they were about to go into their cocoons, they died because they had worms inside them, too. So crazy, we had such a same experience. But the weird thing is, also, I actually got their mother cat, their mothers. I read, I actually got adult cat, adult cecropia moss, and they laid the eggs, which I don't know how they could have gotten the worms because I didn't catch them in a while, which is very crazy. Thoughts on this? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, so, butterflies do sometimes make sounds when they flap in their wings really hard, you know? And, uh, um... I do know that different kinds of butterflies like different types of flowers. In fact, um, one time when I was searching, when I was researching butterflies, I, uh, re I uh, found out that butterflies actually use the compound eyes to see different colors, you know? And that uh, helps them uh, know what types of plants they would like. Um, paristic worms like that are a concern for sure. We have a plant that swallowtails love in our front yard. Thank you from Lily. <laughs> As quick as I see. Um, so, um, so, I, uh, so what type of plants do the swallowtails love? I mean, there's so many different types of flowers, and sometimes it's so hard to know, you know? Which the type butterfly of bush is a really good one. What? They're really common at... Uh, like a garden store. Where do you look for butterflies around your house? I always found them in horse mud. Oh, um, well, I find them, I find a lot of moths around my house. And, um, here, if we look down here, you can see I just moved into my house and there are a ton of wildflowers right down there. But I always have to be careful. There also are a ton of grasshoppers. In fact, maybe I was just thinking when I was saying that, then maybe I should uh, take you on a little grasshopper hunt. It's pretty easy to do. Do you guys want to do it? Do you want? Do you guys want to do the um do the gra grasshopper? Um, the caterpillars. Um, swallowtails love fill family plants, right? Um, milkweeds. Oh yeah, milkweed is actually a moth butterfly favorite. Actually, our family tried planting it, but they they didn't work so well. We're looking for milkweed that actually works in California because that way we can plant it here and it will grow very well. So, are there any other questions? Yes, grasshoppers. Yes. Oh, I guess. You guys also want to do the grasshopper hunt. I have two areas where I can catch them, and one area where is crawling with them. I mean, all you have to do... Oh, yellow jacket! I have to be careful to make sure it doesn't see me as a threat. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's gone. <laughs> we also have lots of guys around here, like that guy. Um, I got go. Well done on your show, and a fat. Uh, what is the largest butterfly? How big does it get? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Gwen? The largest butterfly, I think, is the birdwing butterfly. And hmm. if you guys don't know what the birdwing butterfly looks like, I definitely encourage you to look it up. It's beautiful. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it in my index. Here. Here, let's see. Board wings, so that would be bees. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like my bow idea does not have that. Hmm. I wish I could show it to you guys. <laughs> Good teamwork. Good job to mom. 
Yeah, my mom's holding it, holding the camera while she videos me doing it. And I have my, I and as you can see in the video, I have my iPad right here, so I can answer you guys' questions. Wow, just look it up. So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like my grandpa tuned in and gave me a, and gave me an emoji. <laughs> What is your favorite butterfly? You all, you guys, did you guys hear me say that? I'm going in between three butterflies. Um, a monarch butterfly, a Madagascar sunset but moth, and my other favorite is a luna moth. They are so cool, and luna moths are beautiful. I've always wanted to have one. Yeah, they are so awesome. Do you guys think it's time that we should let these two butterflies go? Do you guys think it's time that we should let the butterflies go? Gwen, do you have any butterfly facts? Ooh, um, let's see, I have a lot, it's hard. <laughs> um, butterflies and moths are in the same um, order Lepidoptera. So technically, butterflies are just a more recent group of moths. Awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Hmm. And I think it's time that we let these awesome butterflies go. Do you think so too? What well, one? Yes. Oh, what's the difference between a bug, a moth, and a butterfly? Hmm. One? Please, I'm pretty sure um, I know that question. No, um, because uh, moths come out at night and are attracted to light, while butterflies are not. And they, and uh, moths usually do not have a proboscis and do not drink, and they only stay alive for a few weeks once they turn into adult because they look for me at night and flowers will not usually bloom at night. Is that correct? Yes, but there's so many exceptions that the um that a some lot of species times, have. Some moths have super long probos uh, proboscis. proboscises, um, like a hawk moth, like a sphinx moth. They have like really, really, really long ones. And so some moths come out in the day. So you can't, there honestly isn't any really like real concrete difference. But there is some things that you can usually use, which are clubbed antennas, butterflies, and... Um, a more fuzzy, larger body is usually a moth yeah. versus smaller hairs and a thinner body. But really, there's like not really much difference. Oh, also, I think we should tell everybody who's viewing that they should definitely try to not grab the wings of a butterfly with their bare hands because the scales on the butterfly's wings will come off and make them harder to fly. So, so, I also have this really cool thing that I like to have in my, in my, um, that I like to have in my bug lab, but I don't have my bug lab yet because, so, it, because we just moved, you know? What I have to do is a laundry room, but I can't wait till I get a better place for my bugs, you know? Um, so do you guys want to, after we let these, uh, mop? these butterflies go, go on the cool little grasshopper hunt for one. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, get these guys out. So I'll do this guy first. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Hi, Shades. Okay. Time to let this girl go. <laughs> now. Let me open it all the way, and then come on, go. Here she is. <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Let's have a go. <laughs> She's such a cutie. I love you, Bo. She's such a cutie. Here, 
Oh, we'll go down to these flowers. Have you both?